Week of Sexagesima, Thursday. The honor due Jesus. What is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little less than God, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. Psalm 8, verses 4 and 5. Dear Redeemed, in this fallen world where sin and death await, the psalmist directs us to the Son of Man, who is the Savior and Redeemer. This Jesus, persecuted from the day of his lowly birth, continued to be assaulted and attacked. Imagine the eternal Son of God, Jehovah himself, suffering under the tongues and hands of man, even being nailed to a cross. Through such humiliation, Jesus ransomed all people, atoning for all sin, defeating the devils, sacrificing himself, and defeating our death by his death. But Jesus answered them, My Father works until now, and I work. Because of this, the Jews sought all the more to kill him, not only because he broke the Sabbath, but also because he said that God was his Father, making himself equal with God. These Jews sought to kill Jesus, one, because he broke the law, and two, because he declared that he is the Lord God. Jesus is either telling the truth, or he is not telling the truth. True Christians, and yes, there are false Christians, true Christians confess that Jesus is the eternal Son of God, begotten of the Father from eternity, incarnate by the Holy Ghost, and born of a Jewish virgin. Jesus continues. He declares that he is doing the works of the Father. What are these works? Behold, then Jesus answered and said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does these things in like manner. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all things that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, in order that you may marvel. For as the Father raises the dead and gives life to them, so also the Son gives life to whom he will. For the Father judges no one, but has committed all judgment to the Son, in order that all should honor the Son just as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. John 5, verses 17 through 23. Jesus gives physical life and spiritual life. Christ raises up the physically dead and the spiritually dead. All judgment is given to the Son of Man, who, after his sin-atoning death for you and his death-defeating resurrection for you, ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. Jesus, who is with you always, will return at his second advent to raise all from the dead and to judge the living and the dead. False Christians and religious groups do not honor Jesus as Jehovah. Even though they may state that Jesus is a great prophet or a wonderful teacher or a great man, a real humanitarian, etc., such a limited confession of Christ dishonors the Father. As the Holy Spirit declares through the psalmist, the Father has crowned the Son of Man with glory and honor. True children of God and true Christian congregations honor Jesus, the Son of God, with all glory and honor, even as they glory and honor the Father. Prayer O Lord, my Lord and my God and my Jesus, how excellent is your name in all the world. When you took upon yourself to deliver man, you did humble yourself. In your humiliation you suffered the scorn of man and the assaults of devils. You put yourself under the law to redeem those under the law. You, even becoming obedient unto death by crucifixion. On the third day you rose from the dead to grant us your resurrection. All glory and honor to you and the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hymn number 267 Father of glory to thy name, immortal praise we give, who dost an act of grace proclaim, and bids us rebels live. Immortal honor to the Son, who makes thine anger cease. Our lives he ransomed with his own, and died to make our peace. 
to thine almighty spirit be immortal glory given, whose teachings bring us near to thee and train us up for heaven. Let men with their united voice adore the eternal God and spread his honors and their joys through nations far abroad. Let faith and love and duty join one grateful song to raise. Let saints in earth and heaven combine in harmony and praise. Thank you.